Hey guys, this is for those of you who have problems with low water pressure. If you're worried about how much you're spending on watering, or even if you're just sick and tired of watering, waiting and having to move around your sprinklers. We've got this product here called a Sumi Soaker, and I think it's pretty cool, actually. I would say the Sumi Soaker is ideal for, for homes that suffer from low water pressure. You know you've got low water pressure when you put your sprinkler on and it, and it literally only comes out a little bit. So you're always looking for ways to increase the water pressure. The Sumi Soaker actually covers more area in one go than conventional sprinklers do. It actually produces a width, a coverage width along the, the soaker of around two meters on either side sometimes a little bit more depending on the water pressure you've got and you're guaranteed it will not disturb any newly sown seeds and it won't disturb any soil so it's it's really good for overseeding lawns um, it's also perfect for flower bed watering so you can get it laid out wherever you want it whether you lay it in a flower bed or you lay it along the contours of your lawn and all you got to do is just turn the water on whenever you need to use it Right, so we're going to look at assembling your Sumi Soaker now, and it's really easy. So you start off by pulling these two parts apart. You've got a black piece on the left, a grey piece on the right, and you've got a white mesh bag. Now this is just a filter if you think you need it. If your water system's not very good and you get impurities in it, this is quite handy. But most UK water supplies will not need this. I'm going to show you how to put it in. If you do want to use it, it won't harm if you do use it, but I'm not going to use it when, when I set mine up. So basically you've got two ends of the white mesh. The, hand, the end in my hands now is like sewn up and then the other end is open. So you've got to, you've got to pass it through the black section, the back pipe, black pipe, um, until it comes through the tapered end on the left, you can see, and just feed it through. like so and then you've got this other end here which is an open neck end so that the mesh is open as you can see the gap there this you've got to roll down over the outside of the black section so this is the wider end of the black section not the tapered end so I'm rolling it down here and I'm just gonna then push it down and we need to go down quite a way because we're going to use the black locking nut in a second to keep it in position but you've got to leave room to put the actual sumi soaker pipe on the other end so like i say we've gone down there get your black locking nut and that just pushes down and it will lock onto the shaft because the shaft gets bigger it tapers up so that's now the filter in place and then all you've got to do is stick the gray piece on here and um, that, that piece of string, you just got to tuck it away somewhere, tuck it inside the tube. So you push that on, you'll get a nice tight fit at this point. So we're now ready for the next stage. So the next stage, really, you need to get yourself one of these hose tap connectors things. You've got the three quarter inch yellow section and then you've got a half inch white section. These often come like this when you buy them. Um, we don't need the white piece, we just want the yellow piece in our situation, depending on your tap size. And literally, all you've got to do is screw that on nice and tight, not too tight because you could damage the threads. And that will then go into the hose pipe that comes from your tap. And the Sumi Soaker itself will go onto this end, which we'll show you now. So next we take the Sumi Soaker tube itself, obviously this is the 30 metre one and it just unravels and what you've got to do is get that over the tapered end of the black section and tucked away up underneath the little round circular locking nut. So just open it up inside. Now if you are using the filter you've got to get all these gubbins down inside so it can be a bit fiddly trying to get this in 
but it's certainly doable just takes a few extra minutes and then just push the uh, the wire mesh down and then slide the sumi soaker tube up along the shaft but pull the black um, locking nut back first and this has got to slide up and over the mesh as far as you can get it ideally up to flush with the grey section and then the point here is to literally then push the black locking nut back down now we've also got this stopper and this is handy if you find that your sumi soaker is too long for your particular garden and you don't want water going off everywhere else into another garden into another area you can use this so you can just restrict the water to the exact area and the exact size that you want now you have to remember that sumi soaker works on low pressure if you've got a low pressure water system and you're struggling to get sprinklers to do the job that you want then a sumi soaker is a fantastic way to water your lawn if you've got a low pressure water supply. So, what you need to do you could go directly onto there if your lawn is right near to the tap but what you need to do is use as short a piece of hose as required because the longer it's got to travel your water pressure will drop more and more and more you should also start your sumi soaker at the top of any hills and then let it flow down so that the water pressure is able to serve the rest of the sumi soaker if you're trying to force it to go uphill it's going to struggle remember this is designed for low water pressure systems so I'm just going to see how we get on with my normal hose pipe here and I'm going to run this to the end of my lawn so what I'm doing I'm going to take this hose pipe and I'm going to start it from here on this corner and my particular lawn is actually quite flat we don't have any hills or anything if the hill was at the far end, I would take the hose pipe and start at the far end and let the water then travel downhill. So we start off. We'll disconnect the sprayer and the sumi soaker connects in. Now remember when you're unwinding it, this can easily be ripped or torn so take very good care of it try to make sure there's no no sharp object that you're going to drag it across now the beauty of the sumi soaker is you can move it around curves which you cannot do with a sprinkler so we're going to unwind very carefully Now this is a 30 metre but there are different lengths you can buy depending on your needs. So if your lawn is a sweeping lawn this would be absolutely ideal but you can also use it to cover more of your lawn in one go. Now you can't do tight curves you've got to gently curve it so don't expect to do a 90 degree and go straight back. So you can see the setup, the normal hose pipe setup. And we've just plugged into the sumi soaker, which curves around the garden. And I've got it sweeping by these flowers as well. We can use the little stopper if you don't want to come into other areas. So I'll just show you the stopper. 
you've got this stopper here now this picks up like so you go up through this middle hole up over the top of this and back down the other side and back down through the hole so we go underneath feed it through and up and back over and back down through the same hole and then pull it through so you look like so pull it down pull it down pull it down and lock that back in So that will just clip into there. Pull it down nice and tight and you are done. Now you can move this across at any point. If I wanted I could put it over there at the corner of the grass to stop any of this section of end hose being used. So then it all finishes down at that point. You can also use this hole here with a, a temp peg and peg it down into the grass so it stays in position but for now let's get this tap on and have a look so when you turn your tap on you do not want to be cranking it wide open just a little bit a small amount of pressure It's pretty good actually, I can see it coming out down here. Oh wow. What we've got is a very nice fine mist. This would be excellent for when seeded new lawns um, need watering. You've got the nice light mist with no issues. And it's looking good. It is looking good actually. And we've only turned up a little bit. So I'm just going to increase the pressure a little bit. We're probably three quarters on there and we have a fairly good pressure system so we're currently seeing a height of around four and a half foot something like that and it's actually pretty good it's a nice even four and a half foot. I'm getting wet here walking up the side of it. I'll just show you the stop, stopper system there, look, which we put onto the end. You can see the water goes up and it stops at the stopper and that little flap on the lap there, this section, there's no water getting into that bit because that's on. So we could move that down and place it anywhere. So it's just another option. It's just another tool to make life easier. I can absolutely see the benefit of this. If you were to run it down the inside of a flower bed, right next to the lawn, you'd then be getting water onto the lawn and you'd also be getting it into the flowers. For the flowers themselves, I think this is a fantastic way to, to water. Right, I've just had a play around with it. And I've, I've changed the pattern, it's gone more into the middle there and more into the middle on that right hand side. And it now covers 95% of the lawn. 
as is for the ultimate hands-free watering system. All you need is a timer to onto your tap and this will water your lawn without you ever needing to walk on it. It ain't going to disturb the seeds, it isn't going to disturb soil, it just gives a nice good even coverage of your lawn. It covers more of your lawn than traditional sprinklers. <laughs> I really like this. I'm actually going to do this when I do my renovation. Um, so what we'll go, we'll just put it on some spikes. You, you'll need more spikes really for better support. A lot of weight is carried on each spike here. So once we've got more spikes in, we'll have better support and more water will come through the pipes because it's kinking a little bit where it's hanging on each spike. So we'll get some more spikes, but what we've got, we've got each side coming across into the middle. So the whole lawn is getting watered and it's in all the places I want it to get done. Um, it's just cool, isn't it? You won't need to walk on your lawn at all. I think this is amazing. Check it out. The beauty is from up here, nobody even knows you're watering your lawn. They can't hear it like some sprinklers and you can't really see it because it's such a fine mist and it's only going on your lawn. Some sprinklers will shoot over into next doors. This, you can put it just where you want it. Yeah, baby. What you can also do is when you are renovating your lawn you can tie a piece of string at various points and just have a balloon on the end of the string just flapping about and that's going to deter birds so you don't actually need to use a fleece if you don't want to 